Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to answer a question as to what is the difference between a PhD degree and a DSC degree or sometimes known as a SCD degree. So these are of course both doctorate degrees. Sometimes you will see that people have obtained DSC degrees. So the question is what exactly is this degree and what's the difference between this and the PhD? So let's first look at the PhD degree. Now the PhD degree is typically offered by a university and this is offered because you have done some sustained research effort and at the end of this research you have produced a thesis. Now in general this thesis is written under the supervision of a PhD advisor. So this person is somebody who has already obtained a PhD and he essentially guides the work and lets you know all the details and so on, the different directions you need to choose and ultimately you have to write your PhD thesis with the help of this person and then you have to defend it before a committee and this committee is supposed to be experts in the field who are going to judge your work. Sometimes this committee are professors in the same department and sometimes this may be professors from different universities also. Sometimes the people are all right there. Sometimes you may have to defend in the presence of Zoom systems or you may even get a written review of your thesis. So this is common in some countries where the examiner may be somewhere else. So whatever be the process of examining of the thesis at the end of the day, you are awarded the PhD degree primarily because you have written a PhD thesis. And what the PhD thesis should show is that you have made significant and singular contributions to the field. You have advanced significantly in terms of your critical thinking, in terms of your research skills, in terms of the advancement of knowledge you have made and also you have contributed significantly to the scientific discipline. So very often the major contention in giving a PhD is that how much contribution you have actually made to the discipline and sometime a contribution is substantial for a master's degree but for a PhD degree this contribution has to be different. And one of the issues in giving the PhD of course is that different universities, different set of professors, different departments vary in their thinking as to how much work is required to finish a PhD. Generally, it is felt that a few papers, at least one journal paper is something which is a good idea to have. If you are going to get a PhD, you may have some conference papers, but down the road, these should be convertible to journal papers. Now let us look at the SCD degree or the DSC degree. So the DSC is essentially a doctor of science degree and this is typically given in the science, technology, engineering disciplines. So I should mention that the PhD is given in all kinds of disciplines, not only science, engineering, and technology, but of course, you know, in social sciences, humanities, liberal arts, and so on. So you can be somebody who has got a PhD in French literature, or you could be somebody who has got a PhD in virology. So as far as the DSC degree is concerned, it is considered to be equivalent to a doctoral degree but sometimes you may need to actually write a thesis sometimes you may not so that's the issue which comes with the scd or the dsc degree is that in some cases it is very similar to the phd degree you essentially need to write a thesis maybe there is an advisor guiding you in most cases and you submit this thesis and you get the degree so now what has happened is that some universities conventionally call this degree as a DSC and so what they give is essentially a PhD but they call it a DSC. Now there are some universities which give a DSC degree based on the cumulative volume of work you have done. So if you are somebody who has written maybe 10 journal papers or 20 journal papers and then you come to this university you say that I want this work to be gone through by your faculty and then I want to get the DSC degree. Now there are some universities which have a mechanism for giving people this kind of degree and this degree is then essentially being given for the cumulative amount of research they have done. Now of course the logic here is that if somebody for example has written 10 great papers in fluid mechanics or 10 great papers in psychology then this person could be given a 
doctorate degree because he has made a substantial contribution in the field. Remember, this person typically doesn't have a PhD or in fact, he may have a PhD from a different institution, but he may want to take his set of papers and want to get a SCD or DSC degree from a higher ranked institution. So this is something which people sometimes like to do. Now, I would say that this is something which is not typically necessary. A person with a PhD can always go and do a postdoc somewhere else. But there are some people who feel that this kind of documentation and actual degree given by a university will help them in their career and so on. So there are certain countries where a PhD or a doctorate is a de facto requirement. So maybe there is somebody who did not do a PhD but is a pretty good scientist and this person has published a lot of papers and he or she may decide that they go somewhere and they seek this DSC degree. So this is something which can happen every now and then. Now do remember that you should make it a point that when you get a DSC or a CD, it is something which comes from a good university because there are some universities which may actually give these degrees because of certain political reasons. So you need to be careful about that. Remember there are something known as earned doctorates and something known as honorary doctorates. So in the case of earned doctorates, you actually deserve the degree, you have written a thesis, you have advanced the research, or even you may have written a lot of good papers and advanced the research. But there are also universities which give doctorates simply because a person has made substantial contributions. So these may accrue to people, for example, who have made a lot of contribution to certain music or art or even to politics. So for example, somebody may be given a doctorate or an SCD degree in political science simply because they have been the governors or chief ministers or prime ministers of certain countries. Now, this is of course an honorary doctorate. Do remember that many a time when you see ads given by universities for professors, they always mention every now and then that you should have an earned doctorate. So what they mean is that you have actually taken the trouble to write a thesis, publish papers, and therefore you have earned the title of PhD and therefore you can now be called a doctor. But there are unfortunately some people who get the doctorate title also through these kind of measures. So you have to keep in mind the university which is giving this particular title. So if the university is quite renowned, maybe the person who is getting it is certainly deserving of that. But in some cases, the person may not be somebody who deserves to get the doctorate degree. So this was my video for today. I will end the video now and I will see you in a video sometime soon. See you then.